Ben, first, just how are you doing and what's just the recovery process like for you? I'm doing well. Um, for me, the recovery process is, uh, I mean, it's never fun, uh, but it's one of those things that I've just been locked into since, you know, having this injury and then um, every day just trying to get better and get back on the floor. Jock mentioned about how beneficial it's been just to kind of have you around these guys. I know these couple of weeks have been tough, I'm yep. sure, not being on the court with them, but how has just the team kind of rallied around you and the organization? It's been good. Um, guys just let, allowed me to work and, and, and try to get back, uh, and that's really been you know my day to day just every morning waking up and, and getting into the gym and rehabbing um, and trying to get back on the floor as quick as possible. I know you've, you've obviously dealt with a bunch of injuries, yeah. dealing with back a bunch. How, how frustrating have the past couple of months been? Um, it's probably one of the most frustrating points of my career just because you know I want to be out there and help my team win um, and compete. But at the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things that's a part of sports. You know, not, not every game is promised, not you know, injuries happen. Um, unfortunately, it happens. So for me, it's just focusing on what I can do now and, and doing what I can to get back on the floor and you know contribute. When you got banged in that, uh, I think it was the game against the Bucks. Yeah. Uh, did you think initially that it was something to do with this, or did you did you think it was just going to be a few days? Because I know at first you guys thought it was the hip thing. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I kept playing through it. Honestly, it was the next day that kind of you know locked me up. Um, so I wasn't too sure about the moment because um, coach kind of looked at me, said you good, and I said yeah. I just kept playing, um, played through it, and then it was the next day um, feeling it. So. Um, but, you know, everyone's been supportive. Coach has been great. Uh, team has been great and um, training staff. What have you been able to do right now? I know the team said you're doing individual stuff, but what? Are you, hmm? Can you answer the question? I guess you can say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, so I just started on court stuff, uh, move around, get some shots up. Um, so just, just start from the bottom, working my way up. Have they given you any kind of timetables to when you can return? No, if it was, it, honestly, I wish it was a sprain, a sprained ankle. You know, it was one of those things where you just don't know with time. Um, but we've seen a lot of progress, which has been um, a good thing and very positive. When you say it that way, do you mean because as you ramp up, you could have stuff flare up again and you have to kind of ramp back down? You just never know. Like one day might be a little better than the other. It might, you know, it just depends on the days and how much you're pushing yourself. Um, but we've been doing a great job in terms of, you know, watching how much load I've been, you know, working on and how much I'm pushing through. So it's been good. Um, so I'm very confident, I'm very positive. Did the, uh, did the epidural you got a couple weeks ago, did that make a big difference? It made a difference for sure. Um, and started to see strength come back and, and things like that. Did it feel different? I know you said initially it, it thought it was just like a regular hip injury, but did it yeah. feel similar or different to the past uh, nerve impingement? Um, it felt a lot different in terms of pain wise, in, in terms of where it was going. Um, so it was a new experience for me to just kind of feel it out where it was. Um, then obviously having you know the scans and things like that uh, solidified that. So you know, have your doctors, the team doctors, said this could be a lingering issue, or is this just one? I thing? think the the plan is to get healthy and then continue to play. What did you feel like you learned about where you're at in those first six games? Um, I think I was pushing myself to the max. You know, numbers wise, you know, the, the numbers I was hitting on the court. Um, I mean, I'm not I'm not a small guy. I'm not you know six foot. 180 pound, whatever it is. I'm a 246-10, and I play with a lot of speed and force. So um, it's one of those things I just got to be, you know, cautious of. Did you feel like you were getting closer to the guy you were before you had to deal with all this? For stuff? sure, for sure. And I think this is just another step towards that. Um, for me, my mentality, I come in every day and try to get better and try and get myself back on the floor. So um, you know, I got time left, and I'm looking forward to getting back out there. When you see this team right now, obviously, when you were with them, they were running and gunning and doing a little bit more. But yeah. just when you see what they're able to do right now, like what, what stands out to you and what do you see just kind of where, where they are at this point? Um, I think we've got a long way to go, obviously. Um, but I think we're doing well, you know, given, you know, the things that have gone on early in the season with injuries and things like that, having clacks out and guys out. But, uh, you know, we're on the right path. I think, you know, everyone wants to get better. Um, everyone's holding each other accountable. The team said you'd probably be reevaluated in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Just when that, when that day comes, 10 days from now, whatever it is, do uh, you expect to be cleared to resume practicing? Or? I have no expectations. I just come in every day and work, you know. Um, I think that's one of the things about, you know, having injuries like this. Um, I've known not to, you know, put too much pressure on the exact date or whatever it is. It's just continue to get better and get to a point where you can play. You guys, you and Jack have had a close relationship. You talked about how you guys have, you know, grown this offseason. Just what have the conversations been like with him in these last few weeks just about what you're going through? Yeah, for me, uh, just staying in context. You know, when the teams are playing, when they're on the road, when I'm not traveling, I'm rehabbing here, just communicating, talking about the game, um, you know, what we can do better, how can I help the team, and, and things like that. So um, I think that's just always going to be, you know, what it is, and we're going to try to do everything we can to win. Um, and, that, and that's one of the things that I love about this team. Everyone's, you know, 
able to talk and communicate and, and everyone's able to listen. So. All right, guys, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.